Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS guide. Now I'm gonna talk about how to defeat this raid event, a frosty offensive. So I'm using the elite difficulty on this video, but you can use the same strategy for the lower difficulty because, yep, it is basically the same, but the damage is lower. So the best friend for this challenge is lightning x that but make sure your your friend has high high magic and level 100 for this battle so noctis lightning i'm gonna use this one maybe yep balwin because it is pretty normal lightning so you don't need to worry about having well friends and yeah so let's begin the strategy for this battle is simply by chaining your fire attack so that's why you need lightning because lightning has fire blast and also if you have chizuru or other characters make sure you equip them with fire elemental weapon so like this i equip my chizuru with jiri raden and lunet with fair nord Okay, I get those items from previous event. If you don't have those items, then maybe you're not able to clear this clear this battle with physical damage, but you need to rely on magic damage. So yeah, like you can see, I'm gathering my fire attack. And make sure you boost your party on the first turn. Okay, so if you are using a party of mage, make sure you use focus or other buff that increase your magic parameter. Okay, Cecil has focus and a lot of characters such as Faris also has that focus spell. So I'm, I'm not gonna use this cloud of darkness to attack, but simply to boost your resistance. Okay, don't worry about this spell because this Omni Veil can be replaced by Bar Blizzara and Bar Aerora. You can get those two spells from Silver Chest. So, yep, make sure you use them if you don't have this Cloud of Darkness or Tilly to boost your resistance. And also, if you have Sirius, then she will be really helpful. Like you can see, chaining is really needed. You really need to kill these harder boxes because they able to um, inflict instant death on your party. So like you can see that even with resistant buff, you can see that the damage is still insane. Let look at my Chizuru health. It's only thousands. So yeah, you really need to buff your resistance. Okay, make sure you use Bar Blizzara and Bar Aerora. Okay, it is really important. So yeah, let's cure Raja. Okay, so this Froster is not that dangerous after you manage to kill this. As long as you have boost your resistance and have killed these three hollow horror boxes, then you will, I believe that you will win this battle easily. So, okay, so I want attack. Okay, so. Mm, I'm simply I'm using guard okay so because it's only single target now I'm gonna focus all my attacks on him okay crushing blow and flame strike and dual viraga again also you don't need to bring your full breaker because this frustrator has resistance against full break not all statues but yep it is not worth to inflict that because you just waste one turn simply make sure you boost your resistance and you are okay so yeah let's attack it okay so if you can see i'm probably gonna kill this maybe in this turn or not so once its health goes down below 50 percent it will say charge or yeah sorry focusing power so yeah it won't do anything on that turn so you are basically it is free for you so but after this turn it will inflict 
single powerful attack to one of your characters. So yep, it probably gonna kill them or or critically injured them. So make sure you kill it on this turn. But even if you are not able to kill it, it's okay because I believe you will kill it soon enough and only one of your characters dead. Yep, so the key for this battle is really simple. Only make sure fire damage, increase your blizzard, ice and wind resistance. Yep, after that it is basically done. Okay. So let's take a look at my equipment a little bit. Okay. So also if you are not able to clear this elite difficulty then you don't need to worry because from my calculation if you farm this dungeon on elite difficulty you will be able to clear it on reach I mean reach the the maximum individual reward in 6 days but if you are not able to do elite you can clear it by using pro difficulty about 7 or 8 days so it is not that important to beat the elite difficulty okay so don't force yourself okay so let's take a look at my character equipment and so I can explain it to you so yep let's see hurry up yep this one like you can see that I equip ice armor to increase my fire resistance because my Chizuru equip Ifrit Ifrit will reduce your character's ice resistance by 50% so make sure you nullify this effect by using ice armor or if your characters are using shield then make sure you equip ice shield okay so yep like you can see Chijiri Raden and Fernard this needed because the monsters weaks against fire damage okay let's see my equipment here not much for cloud of darkness because i only use her for increase my resistance you can simply replace this with serious or other characters that able to cast bar blizzara and bar aurora the nice candidate is krill because krill also able to use dual cast and equip those spells so you can increase two elemental resistance in the same turn using krill so yeah this one nothing ordinary only i have dual wield because i already give all my trust muggles to zidane and this one my lunat has blood mastery mm, and rivia also a tanker is not that important on this battle because the enemy using all targets attack and yep cecil is not that useful only he is only needed if you need focus ability but if you don't need focus then you don't need to bring cecil like you can see my x dead here nothing special okay yep basically that's all you don't need to worry about group reward because i believe that well players will gather the point for us simply concentrate on gathering 12,000 point to get all the individual reward and the uh, trust muggles okay so you can give that trust muggle to your characters to get their trust master reward so yeah that's all for this week event thank you very much for watching please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more final fantasy brave excuse guide